Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and in this video I wanted to do a T-Mobile home internet speed test for the month of July 2024. Uh, it's something I did roughly two years ago when I first got T-Mobile. Uh, it wasn't awful, but that deprioritization, uh, it would, it, which would be like congestion in the evening when they would slow you down, it really would make it hard to use. And since then, I believe I have have had a tower upgrade. My speeds, I for the last year, I really haven't had that issue anymore. And probably within the last few months, I noticed when I would download something, my speeds would like be always like 80 to 100 megabits download, like on my Xbox if I'm downloading a game. So I did some speed tests again because once you use your internet for a while, you know you don't do it all the time. It's just it's a novelty at first when you get new fast internet. And uh, in recent months, it's been very fast. I believe my whole area has been upgraded. So I wanted to come back and do another one just to show when you get an upgrade. And there's a few more things that I'll talk about a little later. But you can see my gateway's uh, four bars. In prior videos, you know, sometimes I'd say, well, you should add an extra antenna, which really isn't that easy to do with the Arcadian uh, gateway. It can be done, but it's not something I would suggest most people do unless you know for a fact you need one. I would say even three bars. I mean, ideally four or five is what you want, but the, my uh, signal shouldn't really have never really have been an issue. So, let's see here. So I'm on B2 and N41. Now, I know there's the T-Mobile Life uh, application. I'm just, I have it on my phone, but I'm using the old one here on the app. Uh, let's try a speed test. I'm on the closest server. Let's see what happens. Ping's actually a little bit high today. Usually it's uh, about 20. 18 is about the lowest it ever is. 22 is usually more like what it normally would be. Uh, those speeds, uh, what is it, about almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's not like peak congestion in the evenings. I think I'm on a different tower today because I think on that uh, metrics thing it was like 82 and usually it's 72. So that might be a little bit why the, at least the ping's a little slower and the upload's a little slower. But either way, this is still more than enough to, to get by. So try another one here. So there's obviously still room for improvement, but anything around here you shouldn't really experience lag. Even the ping at that, though not ideal for gaming, it's not awful either. And uh, what I will say, maybe since I am on a different tower, I've uh, driven around. I haven't taken the gateway. I, I would use a Jackery and plug it in and take it around to just play around with it when I first got it to see if there was different speeds. I haven't done that in two years since I first got it. I'm tempted to do it again because with my cell phone, I use Mint Mobile, which uses T-Mobile's towers, but it ideally or theoretically is deprioritized all the time because it's prepaid. But I find that I still get better speeds using it than I do with T-Mobile. So as of, you know, this afternoon, it's a little slower than it is sometimes, but I want to try something here because I'm recording with my phone. So I can't really show you on my phone, so I'm going to hotspot from my phone to my iPad. So now it, this would be using Mint Mobile. So I just want to see what will happen. Uh, it's still showing T-Mobile. I think they don't call it Mint anymore since they were acquired by T-Mobile. And anytime I use a Mint Mobile speed test, it always uses the Cleveland server. So I'm just going to leave that as is and not mess with it. The ping is always also slower when you use uh, the prepaid. Uh, you can see though that consistently the speeds are always better with Mint than with T-Mobile. The upload is really low. It always is lower with uh, Mint than it is with T-Mobile Home Internet, at, at least in my area right here. I'll do one more, but you can see the download is always consistently faster with a Mint Mobile than it is with T-Mobile.
which is kind of funny. But one other thing I like to point out with those different towers is, again, my phone will get a higher speed using Mint than I do at home. So if I'm out and about, I can't get, unless I take the gateway with me, I'm not going to know the exact differences. But there are other parts in my town that I, I at the McDonald's parking lot, I was just waiting and I did a speed test and I had 900 down and maybe like 50 up. So that was a different tower in this area. And I would be curious to take my T-Mobile gateway there someday and see what the speeds are there. And then I'll get a better idea because, again, consistently, Mint is faster. So I'm wondering why I get, you know, only 500 down on the T-Mobile. Could I get, you know, seven, 800? Or is it just this tower here where I always seem to be a little slower with Mint or with uh, T-Mobile than Mint? But with that being said... I don't experience the deprioritization at night. I haven't for over a year now. So I can still uh, game. I can still watch 4K. Now, if it's a 4K 60 video, there might be some buffering. I might have to drop it down to 1440. I can still download a game, and it doesn't just ruin everything else to where I can't stream or anything. So everything works. Again, the speeds vary. This afternoon, they're not the best. I've had... 400 plus on Mint and around 200 plus on T-Mobile Home Internet using probably the same tower just at home here. So I'll leave it here for now. It's kind of a lot of things to touch on. I just wanted to mention that at least my area has improved. So I'm glad that I stuck with T-Mobile Home Internet. I finally did get that tower upgrade. It does seem like some in the city are better than others. So I have to do a little playing around with that just to get a better idea, but that's where I'm at right now. It took over a year, almost two years, to get that upgrade. So if you're waiting, you know that is kind of rough to have to put up with it for that long. But in fact, though, if you do have that issue, just like I did, if you do end up getting a tower upgrade, it is much more usable. Again, not the best speeds in the world, but when you're paying fifty dollars a month, I, I'm not going to complain about it at all. It's, it's usable now, and it's not frustrating. So that's a good place, and I'm sure they're only going to really hopefully get better from here. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I can try some other things or give you any more uh, info on my experience, but it is a lot better now. So thanks for watching to see me in the next one. Have a good one.